Hey there folks, React and Rain here from tabletopminis.com and welcome to our vlog. Um, this is just a video log on our my 30k salamander army. So I'm um, just going to kind of show you, uh, give you an update um, to how the painting has been getting on in assembly. And uh, I'll probably come and grab the camera and just show you around w what's been done and uh, just have a quick look at it. Uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with it myself. Um, been making some good progress. Um, over the holidays in getting this army to kind of a reasonable reasonable uh, size of painted miniatures and there's still more to go but um, I'll just show you what I've got so far so I started with this contemptor dreadnought here and um, this is the one that came in the betrayal of Calth box set and I've basically done a little bit of conversion with green stuff I added like a little um, sort of growing cloth and some kind of like salamander scales and stuff just tried to kind of give it a little bit of legion flavor and um, yeah he's pretty cool magnetized the arms because um, with these dreadnoughts you kind of want to be able to change their weapons and you know maybe go dual guns for for mortis dreadnoughts and stuff so they're both magnetized it was actually the first time I've I've started magnetizing things as well because you know, coming back into the hobby like a year ago, uh, back in the day we certainly never magnetized anything and it seems to be really popular these days with all the weapon options. So um, that is Mr. Contemptor Dreadnought. And then behind him, you'll see we have a squad of uh, 10 tactical marines. I've kind of gone for quite a muted green um, rather than a sort of brighter, more kind of uh, Beal tan. I, I just think it looks it looks nicer. I'm, I'm really happy with how it's come out. Um, the main colors here are like uh, uh, Castellan green base and or sorry Caliban green base and then I've gone um, with Lauren forest um, over most of the sort of uh, you know uh, raised areas and then I've kind of highlighted that with uh, I think it's rotting flesh or dead flesh from Vallejo uh, game game air or it might be model color, but um, yeah, quite happy with the way that come out. And same with this 10 tactical Marines over here. Um, and as you, as you see their, their, sort of their skin, I've gone for kind of a dark uh, onyx black. Um, there's still a little bit more work to do on these Marines with their markings for their, or their squad markings and so on. Um, but they're kind of they're at a level now where I'll, I can play with them, and if I want to do more later, uh, a little bit of the blending as well with the highlights and stuff, I'll probably do some more glazing over that just to kind of get rid of, um, you know, soften up the the highlights at some point. But certainly um, don't really need to be done yet. And then over here we've got the five fire drakes, and these are really awesome models like um, thunder hammer and and shield. From Forge World, so they're pretty cool, and uh, I, I might end up getting more of them um, to go on the Spartan. And then we have the Chaplain down here. I can use him as pretty much any sort of HQ, I guess. But uh, he's just the basic Chaplain out of the Betrayal at Calth box set. Um, I didn't spend too much time painting him because um, I'm likely to be changing him for either Forge World Praetor model or uh, you know possibly I'll be using Vulcan in some of the games um, certainly not the smaller ones but uh, the larger ones I will be and then we have the Spartan which took a little bit of time to assemble and paint it is it, you can't really tell unless you pick this thing up how heavy it really is but it's a, pretty much a solid block of resin like these tracks and the sides of the Land Raider, that they're actually solid pieces of resin, so you can imagine the weight involved there. Um, you know, they're not hollow boxes, so um, they're, it's really cool actually to have a, a model this sort of weight on the table. I, I'm quite a, a fan of metal models and um, miniatures with a bit of weight in them, so I also magnetized the Las Cannons sponsons here so they can rotate and um, uh, yeah, and can take it off for transport done that on both sides some freedom of movement here you'll see that this has the salamander upgrades for the the front um, panel and also the doors so got one door here 
and this side over here. You can see it says salamanders there, which is a nice little touch. Um, I've got a little bit more work to do on this with um, some uh, lettering and um, some other bits and bobs. I did a little bit of weathering on the tracks, but I tried to keep it a little bit quite subtle so it doesn't look too um, through the, the sort of trenches. Um, I kind of like the fresh out the factory look a little better than the kind of totally beaten up, even though Horace Heresy does kind of suit uh, beaten up. Um, yeah, so I'm, I may come back to do some more weathering on this later, but it's at a point now where I'm quite happy with it. So that's the Spartan that will be taking the fire drakes and my HQ. And uh, that's pretty much what I have painted. I've also got over here, I've got another 10 tactical marines that I need to need to paint. I've got the five Terminators from the Betrayal at Calif box set. Um, a Praetor and Terminator armor. Um, he'll get painted at some point. And next I'm kind of just working through this Sicaran tank. So it's had um, some of the base coating done. Um, the top here it comes off. And I've magnetized the last cannons on the sides, just the same as um, on the Spartan um, Contemptor, just so they can come off for transportation and um, easy kind of, well, if I want to swap the weapons or anything. And yeah, I just really love the model. So it's going to be pretty cool when we have some tank battles, isn't it? You're looking forward to having some tank battles? Yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and in the box, the Fort World box, I've still got the Pyroclass and um, Pyroclass and I've got Vulcan and then let me just grab my two rhinos up here so these two rhinos are going to get painted soon as well so they've had the salamanders um, upgrades from Forge World um, so they've got the front panels uh, with the iconography one thing to note, when you buy the upgrade packs though for uh, Legion Rhinos, if you've got this Demos uh, Rhino, the doors are round rather than square, like the newer Rhinos, so you won't actually be able to use the upgraded doors that come with um, the Rhino upgrade kits, so basically you're paying just for the front panel. And I didn't realize that until I came to assembly. Uh, I don't know whether it would have changed whether I would buy the upgrade kit or not because it's definitely really cool but um, it's quite expensive for just basically the front so that's the choice you have to make uh, when you come to purchasing but them two rhinos um, they'll take probably the two ta two tactical squads um, I've also got another box uh, Betrayal at Calth box set that is uh, still waiting to be assembled so uh, I may make some more tactical marines possibly some veterans um, and another Contemptor um, and also some more Terminators so we can boost them up to 10, the normal Terminators. So reasonable sized army here coming together and looking forward to playing some 30k um, and yeah just loving loving the look of the Salamanders so far so uh, that's pretty much it guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and um, give you a little insight into how our 30k stuff's getting on. Um, the World Eaters as well, they're kind of progressing, so you should see them on the table soon also. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope you enjoyed guys, and we'll see you later. <laughs>